Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your Astro Flower reading. Uh, this is going to be a reading for the 27th right through to the 4th of April. So it's 27th of March right through to the 4th of April. Look at that, starting up already. You're really humming it. You know, you've been doing really well, Taurus. Amazing. Really putting it out there. This seems to be your sort of season coming up. Uh, you're a month away, so they may be trying on your emotional sort of side this month. And they can see this sort of filtering into your cards already. But certainly at the base and how you set things up and you looking like you're going to be getting these victories. And these victories are coming through for quite a few people. So we seem to be turning a corner now for everybody. Let's just have a quick look at your cards. This is going to be your relationship side and your emotional side. This is where you've got your money, your job and your projects and your businesses and stuff like that. And this is the vibration that is running through you at the moment. So let's have a quick look at those relationship sides. It's certainly a case of making sure you feel that you are within your power. So knowing who you are, which is really important. And Taurus, you pretty much do the majority of the time. You don't put yourselves into things that are going to be very detrimental to you. You seem to do a lot of the background work uh, when it comes to uh, sort of relationships, but also within the material world. And this time now, and this month here, uh, certainly in this week here, you're going to start looking at the relationships in a greater sense. So rather than just on uh, you with an individual level with another person, it's going to be looking on the greater sense, such as the family, friends, and uh, the people who live around you. And being sure about yourself of knowing what you want is going to bring you victories. And it's going to bring you victories in the way of recognition of work that is done within the community or in, in the way you um, place yourself in your family, the way you place yourself in your community, the way you place yourself within your relationship as well, in the, the way you invest rather than place. I think that's a better word for it. But if you start doing that, um, and then you can then start working out what actually works for you and what doesn't work for you. So this is in this month here, just the month before your birthday, the season before your birthday. It's sorting out those relationship funds. And it seems to be something that's playing on your mind at the moment. Does it work well with that person or not? Does it work well with those group of friends? You know, and it's it's basically looking over the past, seeing what works well and what's going to work well going for you in the future. Staying true and strong to yourself runs all the way through you. So apparently this week here is just literally just standing there and being solid as a rock, as I know you can do, Taurus, because you have a lot of that earth within you and a lot of that passion and, and fire within you to actually stand true and solid to yourself. On the material front, on the job front and uh, the businesses and projects and stuff like that, similar sort of situation here. Uh, we've got the King of Wands and the King of Cups. So, uh, you know, the universe is sort of trying to, or the world around you is trying to encourage you to be that leader, be that strength. And the best thing about the King of Wands is got the lion in the background and you've got the strength card at the top, which is also the lion. So it's marrying those two things. So marrying your karmic path, what you should be doing in life and what you actually do in the world around you. That seems to be important this week. If you do do that, it will then calm your emotions. You'll feel a lot more secure about what you're actually physically doing in your projects, your jobs and your businesses. But also, as you do that, your guides are going to provide you with a lot of opportunities here. Um, which may not necessarily provide you with the victories or the results straight away, but certainly opportunities for going forward in the future. And in your mental sort of side of things, how you think things over, there's going to be a lot of sort of that works, that doesn't work. And that is important for you to actually um, go through that process of um, filtering out the chaff from the wheat. So within your physical world, it works really well from you. That you you're going to feel like you're on top of the world and you're going forward. You might have had it uh, quite a little bit stagnant or difficult over the last sort of two weeks, but now it's really sort of pushing you on. Um, and you're going to feel like you are winning the world, as it were. That's how you're going to be really feeling and really, really strong within yourself. A little bit of a sort of a spoiler alert. Yeah, in Taurus season, there definitely seems to be a massive change coming up 
for everybody. So it's good to set things up at the moment in, and to be completely and utterly clear for you. So if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. So then you can get future readings uh, from this channel. We also do, with the links in the description below, we've got loads of books. But we've also got a very big community that's building up on, on Instagram where we, we get into sort of question answers and stuff like that. Also, um, we're doing a lot of freebie competitions over there. So if you want a free reading or if you'd like to get into the uh, draw for the free healing in the, in the month or even a free book, go into the description below and you'll see in the links that you'll be able to get into and follow us on Instagram. In the meantime, Taurus, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.